let me start that over hey y'all so first of all welcome to my channel thank you all for clicking on my video this is my first ever video so you know um if you guys like the video please make sure to like comment and subscribe just to keep up with my journey because we're on this together we're on this journey together okay so what we're really going to be discussing in this video is going to be me basically like giving 10 tips that worked for me little disclaimer it's going to be 10 tips that worked for me when applying to college and scholarships so without further ado let's get into the video get to know your counselor better this is a very important tip that's why it's number one because a lot of people don't know their counselor don't know what they look like none of that and they don't like figure out who their counselor is until like 12th grade year i would say yeah it's good to learn about your counselor 12th grade year but you want to like go ahead and get that actual like communication with your counselor now if you're in 11th grade or lower so you'll be able to like go so it'll be smoother in the long run you know what i mean um getting to know your counselor is really good because it made my process really smooth being able to talk to my counselor and ask her about certain things and her responding faster because she knows of who i am so most definitely start getting into talking to your counselor more it's like way better and smoother the process runs way smoother when you do Number two, ask about your GPA. Ask where your GPA stands. It's very important to know where your GPA stands so you're able to know, like, what do I need to do to move up or am I in the right place? Are you in the right place or what do I need to do so that I can get my GPA up a little bit more to where I want it to be? So it's always good to ask your counselor like where your GPA is and where it stands because if you want to, you know, apply for any type of college that you're applying to, you need to know where your GPA stands so you're able to be like, okay, I know I can apply for this college and most likely definitely get in because of my GPA because if you don't know where your GPA stands, how could you move forward to applying to college? Number three, start setting up your Common App slash black comment app as soon as possible make sure that when you're talking to your counselor ask them about helping you set up your black common app or your common app because most likely you're gonna be doing like um applications through common app which is like you really need your counselor to go more in depth with you so you can be able to understand what like you're supposed to do when you're on common app so you need to start asking them about like setting up an account for common app and like how to like go through common app so they can help you more because it's really like you're gonna be doing more like filling out applications through common app but also you can also fill out some through the actual website so it's just between like you actually what you prefer it's really between what you prefer and also like you talking to your counselor about having to actually set that up because it's more to like what I'm explaining is more in depth so they can explain it more in depth to you. So start looking into setting up that early though so you can get that on out the way because it's a long process. Number four, do not drag on your personal essay. This is a big one because a lot of people drag on their personal essay simply off the base fact of it's like a long, it's like some people don't like making essays which i understand but it's like if you have an old essay that like fits into one of the genres or topics in the common app you're good to go because either you can do your own topic or they make you do a topic and you have to pick a topic off of the actual common app so it's like if you have an old essay then just use one of your old essays i would prefer just like not doing that though because it could kind of mess you up in a way i would just say just make a whole new essay but some people really don't like making essays so i understand that but don't drag on it because the more you drag on it the less you want to do it if that makes sense 
so get it done as soon as possible as soon as you get your common app done you need to be getting your actual essay done too because like you just need to start working on it at least because some colleges actually want your personal essay and even if they don't want your personal essay it's good to still like submit your personal essay so it's like okay like she's really trying to go here or okay like you know she's really putting forward the effort to do extra so she can get in type thing so that's how I look at it and colleges kind of like to see that type of thing too so just consider like doing your personal essay and starting on it like definitely early around the time you start your common app number five start looking into early dates to take the SAT or ACT this is a big one because I took mine early in the year I took mine like two times in October both the SAT two times in October just because of the fact that I knew if I took it early I was able to get my scores back early and then I could see if I wanted to take it again in November or December so it's like taking the SAT you need to take it earlier on in the date so you'll be able to know like okay I like my scores or I don't like my scores I'm gonna take it again or if I'm not gonna take it again it's really like so you can be on top of your game so if you don't like your scores that you got then you don't have to worry about it because like okay I can just take it again in November or I can take it again in December like you can keep taking it as many times when you do it earlier so you know where you stand to get better so that's why I would say take it earlier instead of waiting late in the game to take it in November or December and then it's just like you don't have nothing but one more time to take it again and I know most people like to take it over and over again to get the score that they want so it would make sense number six Start thinking about the top five colleges you would most likely want to attend. I say top five because like, of course, there's many schools out there, but start looking into the ones that actually stick out to you and do what you want to do or you're trying to go for in life. Um, research these colleges. You need to do research on the colleges, the top five colleges that you pick. You need to be researching the colleges and like actually going in depth to try to figure out what does this color this college offer everything that they do at the college is this really like for me type thing find out the pros and cons of course the college is going to make it seem like it's all good and dandy but you need when you're looking and researching these colleges like look into the pros of being at this college and also look into the cons because there's many people that give their opinions on both sides of it being good and it being not that good so look into that also start searching up people's experience with the college like I said before start just like actually looking into actual people's experience what they had with the college and how it worked for them and if it didn't work for them at all and what was the case if it didn't work for them so you can probably avoid that issue if you want to really go there number seven Start now applying to those colleges back to one so we're back to number one again where it's like you have to get to know your counselor so she can help you or he can help you when applying to these colleges and really getting involved with like helping you submit your applications to these colleges because your counselor is gonna have to probably give you waiver fees for common app like just approve your waiver fee for common app or she's probably gonna have to give you a waiver fee if he or she is gonna have to give you a waiver fee if um you actually you know do it online on the website so it's a lot that goes into that so it's why you have to actually like talk to your counselor because you might need a waiver you might need a waiver fee because a lot of people think that you have to oh i've applied to like probably like 30 plus schools and I haven't paid for a single one of those applications out of my pocket because of the fact that I went to my counselor and I actually like asked her for a waiver fee. A lot of people think that you have to sit up here and pay for all that and you have to pay money for all them schools. No, I never paid one dime out of my pocket because of the fact that I went to my counselor and I actually asked her like, hey, could I get a waiver fee for this school or this school? And they have up to like, I think you get a minimum up to like at least 10 
waiver fees when you actually do it through the website and then on common app you get at least like up to like 10 i believe too i'm not sure um i don't remember the number but it's somewhere along those lines so just keep talking to your counselor it'll help in the long run number eight look into the scholarships they offer set a reminder on the date and time it opens this is another good one because if you actually submit your transcripts, some schools won't have you apply to the scholarship because they'll automatically give you a scholarship because of your academic performance. So that's why it's like you actually like sometimes you don't have to like actually apply for a scholarship, but then other times you do have to apply for the scholarship because they want it to be like fair and equal to everybody else. So since they want it to be fair and equal to everybody else, sometimes you will have to apply to the scholarship. But if you're like, if they see your academic performance is already good on your transcript and your transcript's looking good, you don't have to really apply for the scholarship. They'll automatically just give you the scholarship without any like kind of like confirmation if you're even going to the school or not. They'll just give it to you because of the fact that your application looks good, your transcript looks good to them. So they're going to give you the money. Number nine, keep your grades up, which takes you back all the way to number two, which was ask about your GPA. Asking about where your GPA stands is so important so you can know if you're supposed to go hard this year or if you can chill out a little bit and rest off because, you know, Schools love to see the hard work, so I would still suggest being able to like go into school and like do your big one, still go hard because schools like to see that little hard work that you still have in you. They like to see, okay, she's still or he or she is still like a hard worker, so they like to see that. So just like keep it up, keep doing that. Number 10. Do not be discouraged by rejection letters. Rejection letters are okay. Out of the 30 schools that I have applied to, I've probably gotten four rejection letters out of all of them. So it's like, it's okay to, you know, be able to get rejected because, you know, what would life be if you didn't get rejected at least once or twice in your life, you know? So what well, one college won't do, another one will. Think about it like that. If you really wanted to go there, then just like think about, okay, I can transfer over during my freshman year. You can transfer over in the middle of your freshman year and go to a whole new college if that's what you pick or if that's what you choose. Or after your freshman year of being at that college that you didn't want to go to, just transfer over your sophomore year. Simple as that. It's okay to be, you know, rejected because there's nothing wrong with it. Like, maybe that wasn't the school for you all the way. Maybe that just wasn't your type of school. Because, you know, everything happens for a reason. So maybe that just wasn't the school fit for you. And the guy up above is just looking out for you. Okay. Okay, so that's all for my video. For my first video, I really, like, I'm liking the way this is going, though. I have to edit everything, you know, and whenever it's out, it's out. Um, If y'all have any other suggestions y'all would like for me to do, video wise and stuff please let me know make sure you like comment and subscribe um you know and if you stay to the end tell me if this was really helpful to you or if it was informational because you know i know everything doesn't work for everybody so just let me know in the comments um thanks for watching hey bye girl i'll call you back Like, you know, number...